That should be a lot of fun here tonight. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. We'll show Seattle for you first. And we mentioned Urban Para, certainly uh, someone to look forward to towards the top there. David Olson as well, a talented striker. In the back four, Sam Rogers, a talented young 18-year-old, just turned 18 on Wednesday. He's big, he's strong, and certainly someone to look forward to towards the back of the Sounders lineup. And for Reno 1868, some changes for Ian Russell's club. Dan Kelly, of course, still at the top, but Antoine Opino getting his first start as a forward. He has appeared in every game for Reno this year, but mostly in the midfield. Also, Lindo M. Fecca. This guy has been a very talented addition, made his first start in Reno's last game against Phoenix, and he seems to be a real game. Weehan, 23 years old, out of Laguna Niagua, California. Got his first career goal in that 4 0 win over Phoenix. Here it comes, gets into the box, headed high over the goal. And it looked like that was Dane Kelly doing this. 54 career goals. Nobody in United Soccer League history has more goals than the Jamaican Dane Kelly. Oh, he absolutely knows how to find the back of the net. Here's David Olsen getting sprung loose. Centers it, right footed strike, and it goes just past the post. Oh, that was a close one. Zach Mathers almost delivered for the Sounders here in the seventh. Reno 1868, summer of soccer, six pack. The best partial. Dan Kelly strikes and diving stop by Meredith. He's looking more and more dangerous as, as the game goes on. Still okay. plenty of time for Reno to make some noise here in their inaugural season. Brad Richards oh, that's a fantastic finds Kelly and Dean Kelly. Goal! As they'll try and set the field here for Reno. Opano came in and the Seattle defender just barreled him over. And so Antoine Opano, who was just taken down in the box. And they're going to cite a yellow card there. On, I believe, was it uh, Denso Ulysses? It was Rodriguez. It was a regard it was a bit from LA. Oh, good run Antoine from Antoine Opano. Oh, he's taken down by the keeper, and they're going to blow the whistle this time. Penalty kick coming for Reno 1868. Penalty kick is coming up. For someone who hasn't played forward this season, Antoine Opano is looking very dangerous running in behind the defense. Looks like they're going to give it to Dane Kelly. Just scored two minutes ago. Kelly finds that again. Ross has sent it down to Kasipli. Oh, and another Forward good run for Opano. Opano. And he's taken down to the box again. And they're going to call another penalty. Waiting for the official signal. It's always tough to take a penalty right after you just took one. We'll see if Dan Kelly will go the same way or a different way. Here's Kelly, and he's got the hat trick. Dane Kelly has done it again. Back to back games. Here's Richard sending it down towards Opano. And they keep finding him behind, behind the defense. Kasipli. Oh, it was almost something spectacular there with a little flick from Chris Weehan. Close to a third there, that was not far outside the box. No, and it's shooting range. We'll see who wants to take it. Looks like Seth Kasipla is looking at it, but I wouldn't be surprised if Chris Weehan takes it. Weehan, a little oh. bit wide on the strike. Kasipli. Oh, another fantastic ball over the top from Kasipli. And Lindo, Lindo Mfeka tries to find Dan Kelly. Opano keeps up the pressure. Mfeka, Lindo Mfeka oh. delivers! His first goal! Lindo Mfeka, the South African. Makes it 4 nothing, And so you're going to see a lot of veteran, older players and kind of a mixed bag of where guys have come from as here's Boxy and trying to center it. And did he get it? Yes, he did. Seth Kasipli will bury the cross from Boxy Yumba. And it's 5 nothing. Reno. As Aloni. Antoine open, oh, taking a shot on goal, but wide of uh, Brian Meredith. Oh, looks like it took a deflection. Reno 1868 will have a corner. Sam Rogers. Coming up from the center back spot. 
See if he can connect with one of them. There's the header, and too high. It looked like it was Para who was able to get to it, but couldn't control it yeah, as it goes on top of the net. Here's another look. Yeah, it looks like Irvin Parra was able to find some space and get a free header. Oh, absolutely. He should be proud of his performance after going Wednesday to Seattle and playing 120 minutes in, in the Open Cup match. Actually scored a penalty in the shootout with his left foot. He, uh, he uh, was when he was recovering from his knee injury. Oh, Chris Weehan. Oh, good shot from Weehan. Did a good job getting into the center of the box and put a good right-footed strike on that one, but it was just a little bit too high. Soft yellow for Jimmy Ockford, if you ask me. Fans want to remind you, you can stay up to date on the latest USL news and information from around the league. Tune in to the USL Coast to Coast with Mike Watts Mondays at 9 o'clock Eastern. Very good at set pieces all around, whether it be penalties, free kicks from out wide or direct free kicks. Matt LaGrasse does well to keep that in. Chris Weehan back in the oh. box, Kasipli. Hey, Yumba able to keep it in. Yumba and cleared away. Here's Hopano and he'll drill that one into the stand. Here comes Burgos. Headed in. Number six of the Knights. And it's a headed goal from Jimmy Oxford. Oh, baby. Dangerous ball in. That flat, driven ball from Junior Burgos. And Jimmy Oxford's able to get the clear run up. No one's marking him. And it's an easy header past Brian Meredith to cap off an amazing night for Reno 1868. A six goal performance here at Greater Nevada Fields in the very first victory that this building has ever seen. An unbelievable performance after Reno has come up empty in previous showings. They could not have had a better match tonight to get their second win of the season and send these battle-born fans home with the taste of three points in their mouth.